So I'm gonna be replacing the fuel filters for this uh, 2016 uh, Dodge Ram 55 5500, and uh, this is what I grabbed from the dealer today. Because I'm gonna be doing a really far tow. Uh, just wanna replace it because it's, it says zero on the thing right now. So this is uh, this is one of the filter right here, and the other one is right here. Yeah, and then for this uh, job right here, you're gonna need some uh, big sockets. An extension and one of these two right here I got the um, you'll be needing a 28 this right here 28 uh, mm uh, and an extension for the, the the one on top which is this one right here open it yeah this that's that and then there's a there's an o-ring instruction pretty simple this one right here too two gasket so quite greasy in there uh, Okay, it's one for here and one for the top. I guess never do this before. And you need a drain bucket. <laughs> a drain bucket and some lines. That's it. I have some lines right here for my fish tank. Alright, let's uh, start rolling. Cause uh, I ain't got no time to waste. Yeah, I totally forgot. You need one of these two to remove the the um, this filter on the bottom right here, the second filter. That's what I call it. So you need the oil filter remover kit to remove it. And uh, on top of my uh, where I'm standing at. Uh, yeah, put it down, you can see, and this uh, two filters right there, bam, this on the tow truck is pretty much a lot easier than, uh, than uh, the uh, 3500 uh, model, so it's like right there. Uh, go down on the bottom. Oh, no, you guys see yeah, right that boom. Yeah, so you turn it this way, okay? One turn. Two turn. And you can use your hand right now. There it goes. Okay, to remove the sensor, all you need is just a vice, vice grip, grab that, easy, pretty easy. So I'm here tight as hell. Use this flat head. Just 
my towel. Wipe it off a little bit. Put the new seal in. Off this, this new one over here. That's a good enough already. Okay, I already put the new seal in here. Diesel. Just double check the ring to see if this is in there right. Push it in. And next, just need to close this thing right here. Turn it to the right side. fuel coming out. Gotta check for leaks. That's it. So every single trucks are different. It depends on how you use it. So my my thing uh, pop up a few times already so I replaced it the second time already. So you turn on the key again let everything run this is the second time right here once you uh, do it one more time this is so you can have a uh, few circulate into that uh, system you know and then turn on I don't know if you can hear it pumping but it's pumping fuel right now See if I can start the motor. Hopefully it don't die. Okay, now I'm gonna go check for leaks. With the swivel and the ratchet, let's do this. First thing first, gotta release this. So for the for the uh, for my uh, tow truck, the 5,500 is not the same like uh, the 3,500. The 5,500 is way different. 
I don't think there there's a there's a way to drain it out. I don't know if I can't see it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't see it. So they made a little drain hole right there. I'll show you guys later in. So I have a bucket under there. Of course, it's gonna be splash, but it's not epically crazy. So I try to go in there and look for the drain. I, I think I saw it. It's right there. Oh my god. I didn't see it earlier though. The swivel on top. Sound of sucks. Added another extension, see what's up. Oh, this thing's tight as hell. One of the crazy thing. It's coming along. Twist it. Oh boy. All right. In there. And this is the old filter area. It's all drain. Cut a little bit Good. down there. It's quite old. And this is the new one. It's a, it's a flat head. Remove this uh, ring right here. It's a brand new one right here. Go in there and clean the thing out. Uh, yeah. You wipe it down. Sure it goes to the bottom around all around yep okay then grab the filters in the new one Grab a new pair of gloves. I'm trying to do it one more time. Let's clean it good. Push it down. Put the ring back already. Let's cap back. Hand tight. Clockwise. And what you do is Use your hand to tie in the yellow cap. Just hand tie is good for the yellow cap. Down there. There you go. Put when you can't hear it and this is, I remember when I start off, this thing was like over here or something like that. When you get this tight right here, just slowly get in, get in, and it should be fine already. There you go. See, see the yellow dot? 
this yellow dot counts a lot. So, so it's getting late right now. So, and then again, this is the 5,500 tow truck. It's not the 3,500. It's the 5,500. Now, since everything's good already, is turn the key on one time, let the diesel pump. again I will probably have to do it three times for my years of experience at least three times maybe five so all the diesel will pump up correctly so I mean your truck will run if you don't do it right it will run for like 10 seconds or less and it will die down so you want to do it right so this is the third time already turn it back off this is the fourth time to here I'm going to try to start it right now hopefully it start and won't die down and that, that filter replacement, I'll show you guys right now to how to deal with that. Well, mission accomplished. And then uh, over there, I am in the fuel economy mode. So what you do right here is on your steering wheel, you press back and you see over there vehicle information. You scroll up from here, push up, vehicle information again, and you press that. And right now I got temp, coolant temp, just pressed up. I know, just give you a bunch of like sensors, information, coolant, train, oil, temp, and oil pressure. Just your turbo right now, which is, I'm not running it right now. Exhaust brake is off, voltage battery, fuel filter right here okay so it's at zero right now I'm a tow truck driver sometime I went overboard you know so uh, we only have time to do it you know I mean we do it correctly though every 10,000 miles so or less depend on your idle so over here you press that ah and it's give you a message engine must be off okay so what I'll do right now is I turn off the motor and turn to key on and then from here again press that give you a message for filter replace right there And then scroll down, confirm reset. Yeah, what you do is you just go down, press down. And then you press forward for yes. Now, voila. It's at 100%, that's how you do it. When you confirm, 
when you confirm you press down and you hold that and for yes so it's good 100% right now so that's good so there you go let's uh, teach you guys how to reset it too and then go back and let me go back over here so that's the fuel filter live okay so the oil is the same thing you press over and then just reset the life the filter I just we just do oil oil change already so yeah great yeah um, okay and then start up the motor again Oh, forget that. Turn off, turn off my GPS. Smooth as hell. I'm gonna go back to check for leaks right now on the front, the rear. It's pretty simple already, no leaks. But I'm gonna check it anyway. Show you guys. There's nothing on the ground right here. The future's right there. No drifts at all. Dry. Alright guys, peace out.